Hi Capricorn, welcome into your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of April 2023. I do want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading, but as we proceed, do keep in mind it is general for your month as a whole, so just take what resonates and discard the rest. And I do more than appreciate the love and support, the likes, the comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. But as well, don't forget to check out your other placements within your individual chart as I continue to post these monthlies. Uh, being a little bit behind. But anyways, the overall message I got for you for your month, of course, in regards to your money and career, the success will lead you towards a rich future. A rich future. Amazing. I really do feel like that's uh, written in the stars for you, a level of destiny and steps being taken in the right direction, however that looks for you individually. What do we have for Capricorn to begin? It's a money and career oracle. Okay. Coming out a little bit awkwardly. The life purpose card, more than money, spiritual wealth, and talking about in the career part, counselor, being guided in divine path. They're saying a rich divine path. But in a month where you are being pushed towards, feeling guided towards more wealth for oneself, you're being reminded it's not just money, but it just feels like as well, I'm being guided back to the word rich. You're going to be rich uh, more than just when it comes to your finances, right? Rich in success, rich in value, rich in purpose when it comes to your career. A sense that you are very bold throughout the month and not short of any honesty, right? Even if you're choosing to hold back strategically at certain points, but you might find that your work does entail um, true levels of honesty all the meanwhile. But I feel like your helpful nature is coming into play for a lot. You might find that Little annoyances do need to be coped with, dealt with, or just discarded, um, but life isn't perfect. A sense of you uh, being very spiritual, being drawn to this reading, and that might tie into your work all the meanwhile, or just be helping you when making certain choices, decisions, or just accomplishing in general throughout the month. Good start. Um, there might be a focus on paperwork, contracts, I feel like for some training for a new position, or a refreshing uh, training kind of situation. For a continuing position you might be reaching for more or thinking about reaching for more when it comes to i deserve that pay raise so debating on or thinking about how do i strategically ask for that going for that promotion or a different position in a different department within that same company or maybe thinking about switching up your job to another position another place location all the meanwhile some of which thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or taking another shot at it is what i want to say um, or maybe thinking about how to expand your current business or to begin a second one. It just feels like things are going to be expanding moving forward either way. And it's up to you how you foresee that for yourself because you are in the driver's seat, but it feels like spirits, uh, the spiritual realm is backing you up quite strongly. And there are gonna be moments throughout the month where you do need to wholeheartedly trust your intuition in regards to, is this gonna be right for me moving forward? whether you have it on your plate already or it's an option to acquire, okay, to take on. Um, they're also saying don't take on too, too much. There might be moments where you're gaining opportunities to make more money, to succeed more left and right, but needing to at times be a bit more realistic than hungry, okay, for more. For Capricorn to continue. Okay, giving and receiving the gift card. Okay, we have four, wow. Um, it feels sudden windfall. Look at that generosity. Once again, your caring nature. I feel like there's a sense of good karma written all over your month. You're reading where the universe is paying you back for potentially certain ups and downs, slip ups. Uh, I want to say loss when it comes to, um, career, when it comes to your finances, but I feel like people are remembering how you helped them in the past or noticing that how you're helping them, um, and appreciating it throughout this specific month. And that's coming back with a sense of a, a lending hand or two, a helping hand or sense of um, more abundance or a new opportunity once again to make money because you were just being simply nice or you just have been putting in the work for some more so. It feels like as well, um, there may be a work surprise. This could be an adjustment in the work location, whether it's somebody leaving or uh, joining that uh, situation. Could be more in regards to um, a different pay structure or um, an adjustment in the rules and regulations but it, they're showing somebody wrapping up a bow on this gift and they're saying this is a month where things are just being tied up with a bow in certain ways uh, needing to adjust adapt and 
it feels like a very golden month for you in certain ways. And I think that came up in uh, March as well for you. But we also have, um, okay, let's go back. Sudden windfall. There's the potential for that. You might find that this is an expected windfall um, at one, if not multiple points throughout the month, but for some it's unexpected. And this will feel quite surprising and gratifying all the meanwhile. Um, but abundance, easy money, the feather card. Um, again, a very spiritual month with the feathers. Um, divine intervention. It might be in regards to you being pushed to recognize that you deserve more or that you deserve better. This could even be when it comes to where you live or um, the car you're driving or a different vehicle. Um, but I do feel like spirit saying things aren't meant to feel heavy throughout this month. Bold, successful, yes, but light work. Because I do feel like, okay, you might be a light worker, um, viewing oneself in that manner and potentially by other people. I'm hearing an online platform may tie into that. Uh, even if you're being pushed to start one, but you might be continuing that. That's going to be successful either way. Um, but your work is meant to feel light and airy, like a feather falling from the sky. <laughs> okay. Um, but I do feel like you're potentially a little bit indecisive in regards to... Um, which option is going to be best for you? Will this have a future for me? Can I exceed my potential in this current position? Is this the right time to try to move to a different location? Um, however that looks for you. Um, but Spirit's saying if you look within, if you trust your intuition and the spiritual guidance that's being gifted to you at this time, you'll come up with the answer when the time is right. Okay? There's no need to fret. There's no need to overthink, uh, over contemplate. Just look at things. I want to say, and you probably will either way, quite logically, but trust how you feel, what you know within all the meanwhile. And don't let your emotions get wrapped up into it. Butterfly, sudden change, frivolous spending, short-term loan. And then we are talking about arts, movement, uh, temp jobs, and fun work. Any of which at the bottom for the career part could apply to you. Um, but a sense of you transforming through your work with the butterflies. Um, in multiple levels of your career and your finances transforming before your eyes in a beautiful way, a feeling that you are being prepared to fly towards more, okay? Um, even if that's within one of the multiple existing continuing situations, um, things are going to transform and change for you, grow moving forward um, and prosper in different ways that you maybe fully can't see at this time. But Spirit's saying, just because the money's flowing in, just because you're feeling more comfortable financially by the end of this month, throughout it, you may uh, be forewarned that frivolous spending isn't necessarily the best uh, choice for you. I mean, again, trust your intuition. It's okay to treat yourself, but all the meanwhile, we, wanna, uh, we want you to have that comfort moving forward for any twists and turns life brings you, um, unexpected changes once again, surprises, um, and just to have that comfort. We know as a Capricorn, you're very structured, very grounded, you are an earth sign, and you desire and even need at times that comfort of uh, financial stability in your future moving forward, okay? So that doesn't affect other areas of your life, your well-being, um, they're saying your mindset, um, and I'm also hearing your emotional well-being. What else do we have from the small deck? Making a difference. Beautiful. Keep making a difference, or you might be a Capricorn drawn to this reading where April's a month where you're feeling quite motivated or kind of for whatever reason or reasons feeling drawn to make more of a difference through your work. Um, you might be finding that you just, whether you mean to or not, you make a difference in that work environment, all right, or through your business. And this is feeling quite gratifying and natural for you. A sense of you being a leader being drawn to this reading. Um, but also having a different point of view than certain people and this opening people's eyes and ears to opening up their third eye is what I'm getting to a different perspective or just to more in general. Um, but look at that being noticed. In the first attempt to do your reading yesterday, just the energy, I was not in the right mood for it. Um, so I stopped about two thirds of the way through. I did get a lot of spotlight attention in that reading, a lot of kind of fame for some drawn to the reading. but. Um, being noticed on social media and the public eye at your day-to-day -day job, if not multiple, out and about, looking good, feeling good, looking grounded, having a personality and a shine to you, a glow that is meant to be noticed. But a sense of a lot of you being noticed for um, how hardworking you are. And I mean, naturally, it's you are literally the most hardworking sign out of all 12, um, in my opinion, at least. But I do feel like you are being noticed for somebody who's going places 
and for your talent, if not multiple, all right? And don't be surprised if, I wanna say, maybe not this month, but in the upcoming months, you do discover one, if not multiple, new skill sets, talents that you're meant to water and see grow for you moving forward to make you even more successful. Money moves, beautiful. You could be contemplating on one, if not multiple, important money moves. Um, I'm hearing putting money away, all right? You may be opening a bank account for some or a different type of um, investment. But I do feel like you um, are, um, for some, actually making this one, if not multiple, money moves throughout this month. Either way, it just feels like as you make the moves with your money or contemplate it, the money's flowing towards you quite nicely, the universe paying you back and things just paying off for you big time. It feels like hard work's paying off, period. Your sense of, uh, your example, I wanna say, um, evidence that when you don't give up, when you put in the hard work, or if you know life kicks you down and you get back up again, you just keep moving on forth and put in the hard work again, you're successful, okay? You are successful. But we have um, making the best. So this might be in regards to, ooh, big money. It might be in regards to you needing to make the best out of where you live, where you work, could be both. Um, potentially in the beginning stages of a new business for you, trying to get it off the ground. However it works for you, um, or trying to master your life purpose is what I'm getting. This will feel rewarding when you're able to actually make the best, okay? It's a sense of you have dealt with worse, right? And you might get a reminder of what you dealt with in the past uh, in a similar situation um, or how that situation actually has improved. So a reminder of the beginning stages of it um, and how things, again, could be a lot worse. Um, and I do feel like there's moments where, say, something's annoying at work or at home. I do feel you'll find yourself uh, feeling intuitively guided to realign your focus, to distract yourself, do something more productive. Like I can't control how this person's living. I may try, but I, I'll probably fail at that all the meanwhile. Um, or I can't control how this person's working or how this uh, situation is run. I'm hearing poorly for some. Um, it's out of my control. I'm not gonna try to control that. Um, even though I feel like, again, you're making a bit of a difference for some. Um, so I'm going to decide to clean the house situation. I'm going to decide to focus on my work. I'm going to decide to um, make, there's a grocery list, a sense of you just being very organized. And at times when things don't feel perfect or a little bit annoying, uh, a bit out of your control once again, you end up becoming more organized and succeeding more because of it. So it feels like even the negatives do lead to certain positives uh, all the meanwhile. Keep that in mind in the moment. Um, but independent success and career advancement. Beautiful. Spirit's saying this lies on the horizon for you. And this independence is, they're saying, seeping from your pores. All right. Even if you work for other people or one particular person, um, a lot are being pushed to embrace entrepreneurship moving forward. Even if you didn't see that in the cards for you, but it feels like regardless of what you choose to continue or take on or both, independence, my friend, advancement lies ahead for you. Let's pull some tarot bear with me i also get a very for the most part peaceful vibe about your energy being drawn to this reading where you're not really stressing things too too much or at all uh, but either way it feels like it's not affecting your inner peace and if you do feel a little bit nervous or a little bit on edge when you're at work and or at home just step away from the situation even if you're not uh one to label yourself as empathic um things could just be affecting you all right, and you might just need that fresh air, go for a walk, a stroll, go for a workout. You might just need to be one with nature, okay? One, uh, one with a different scenery is what I'm getting. Don't get caught up in the details is what I'm getting. Justice, beautiful. I feel as if this is a month where things are balancing out in your favor. I know you can't really see that well, um, but you get the, the picture. It's this feeling of you seeing justice come to be left and right through um, sudden changes, little changes that you may not feel very fond of or uh, happy about in the moment uh, or even soon after that. I feel like they may even just work in your favor either way. It's like you can't fully see how, but then it leads to something better for you or things just feel better in that work environment, even though you didn't want that person to join or leave or something of the sort or that new rule. Um, but I do feel as if it's the sense of, again, things balancing out in your favor, falling into place for you. 
and um, feeling quite light and for the most part going back to the feather card let this justice roll on in is what I'm hearing you're being reminded um, if anybody's dealing with a sense of lack at a certain point throughout the month it feels early on uh, this starts to feel less of uh, the case for you but this more so talking about you getting reminders of where you were not meant to fit in a job a living situation you name it could have been multiple for you um, but it might also be you feeling as if you just don't mesh with certain energies certain people at work and or at home then it's just not meant to be right it feels like they're not the right energy for you it may feel like you're just complete opposites or they just rub you the wrong way all right um but that's just a forewarning to trust your intuition and if you can it may not be 100 percent possible it may not be black and white steer clear of them um, the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands, a sense of you thinking about your world as a whole, your career as a whole, your finances, right? But again, don't overthink it. Um, wanting more. That's the vibe of the Two of Wands for you. Looking out into the horizon and thinking, how do I see my career unraveling? How do I see it proceeding, changing? Um, even though I feel like some of which may feel out of your control once again at certain points. But a feeling that you do know more about what it looks like for you than meets the eye or you even give oneself credit for a feeling of you uh, being pushed to remember at certain points or in the driver's seat all right when it comes to acquiring more abundance moving forward and again i feel the need to say you are destined for this rich future um, but the queen of swords again thoughts of what you cut out sorry about the background noise if you can hear it um, thoughts about what you potentially should be you might be pushed to cut out one of not multiple um, uh, habits bear with me as I'm hearing um, a motorcycle uh, download but anyways uh, so some of which might be considering uh, getting a motorcycle but I do feel as if you um, yeah don't overspend once again those kind of habits over consuming uh, things that need to be cut out for your well-being or just to help you have this rich future come to be sooner okay what else do we have bear with me the chariot coming out as well as the seven of cups um it did come out in the reverse so i might feel like you go from having no options when if you need a new situation um to having more than enough plenty but it may also feel like this is talking about how at certain points it might feel like you have minimal to get done but creating busy work for some um, but then other points in the month it's like oh goodness it all kind of is piling up i have uh, a lot to get done a list or two um, i'm feeling a bit behind thinking about will i be able to get this done by this deadline or on time for me spirit saying you will you will so don't stress it but feeling uh, as if there's no shortage of motivation, right? But make sure you're feeling balanced through it all, okay? Don't allow for oneself to lose that balance and feel a bit out of whack because this will affect the quality of your work um, and your confidence moving forward. And your energy is what I'm getting. The seven, sorry, the eight of cups, eight of interesting. So thoughts of uh, or evidence that you did what was right for you or that you are. Um, potentially needing to walk away from a situation once again or even if that's temporary but the eight of Pentacles because I do feel like there's pretty much for the most part throughout the month a vibe where you do feel like putting in the work and you do so quite efficiently and you get things done again on time when you need to and you're impressing people left and right I'm being drawn to hold these up there might be a situation where things feel a bit heavy it could be more so all the time your plate so again be realistic as to what you take on if it's within your control but I do feel like okay they're saying at times remembering it's okay to say no um, but I do feel as if an improvement of replacing of a situation upgrade if you will is on the horizon if this is your living situation and or your uh, job okay if not multiple um, but let's pull one or two more before we wrap this up coming out the high priestess yep spiritual um spirituality intuition uh, potentially at a certain point adjusting somebody else's perspective through your work if not multiple people or even getting that push from spirit if you're doubting things or if you're not feeling 1000 uh, percent positive okay or you're focusing on the details too much or the uh, imperfections but look at that spirit saying that 
with the backing up of the spiritual realm and your intuition and your hard work and nature and a bit of luck on your side all the meanwhile, you're going to see oneself moving towards more fulfillment, more happiness and what feels more ideal for you individually. It's a month where you will be holding your cards close to your chest and seeing a bit of savings increase. Do your best to save as much as possible, of course, but it's a month that reminds you that all the meanwhile, you deserve all of these success coming to be. Look at that. You deserve the independent success that's coming to be. You deserve the wealth that's flowing in and will more soon moving forward. April is a month for you, Capricorn, that reminds you that the success you're acquiring, that you're meant for throughout this month and moving forward, is leading you towards your rich future. It's destined, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your month, and I'll definitely see you next time.